Hey guys, doing a ship lap here on this one wall, and I've got these panels I got from Lowe's here, and I'm uh, just gonna hack these up into eight inch, eight inch wide pieces, and hang them that way. It's kind of like a poor man's ship lap. It gives it that look. So all I did here is just set my table saw to the uh, to the eight inch mark. That way I get the same way every time. And this is a two person uh, operation because those pieces are so flimsy long and wide so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get two people on this and rip them into eight inch wide pieces this is the wall that i'm doing so this is all gonna get removed i'm gonna take this down and just start putting it up all right we got these all ripped down all right this is actually a super easy uh job to do but this is what i'm using and then uh what i have left in my my box here is, is those is brad nails got two batteries for this thing if you buy one of these things get another battery because when they start going then your 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 brad nail doesn't go in all the way so they don't last a hell of a long time so i cut that first eight foot piece we're going to go from the top down cut the first eight foot piece into four foot sections just to break it up a little bit okay so what i did is i took the stud finder <clears throat> instead of uh putting a whole bunch of holes in each piece so you want to kind of lay them on the studs you know nail into the studs as much as you can so went ahead and took the stud finder and laid them all out and marked it on the wall and that's where i'm going to hit the majority of the nails Okay, next piece is a, a cutout around there. So I just measured it, squared it off, and that's gonna be my cutout there. I'll be using this guy for that cutout. <clears throat> so there's my cutout piece. But what I did here is I, uh, I loosened these up and brought them out because I want, I want the board, I want these things to sit on top of the board. That way these things aren't too recessed when you go to put the cover on, it's not indented. kind of had to cheat on this bottom one I don't know if you want to call it cheating but all of these are eight inches that one right there is just under eight and a half so where the gap was too big so I cut that one just a little bit a little bit bigger now it fits up nice all right so now to dress up this corner got some some plastic uh, trim here just cut it right to length. I'm just gonna stick it on here just like that with the with the nail gun. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is take this uh, wood filler here and this uh, putty knife and just go hit this the nail holes. And then obviously so we're gonna paint this whole thing so the paint will fill it in a little bit but it doesn't all the way. Once you paint, if you paint it with this here, then the holes will show. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill them all in. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Got it painted, everything. Everything back installed, coat rack hung back up. Hey, thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. See you on the next one.